I will try. I'll do my best. Got a little bit of money, which is good. Okay. Let's check my phone. First thing I should do. Hello, this is a copy of the jobs I completed. Calculate the amount uh, paid to me at the bottom. 420, 500. 2508. Wow. Holy fuck, she's my best employee. What the fuck? Wait, is that a joke? Let's see if Judd's around. Judd? Are you available? Make sure Judd hasn't paid her already. I don't want to pay her twice. Fuck. Okay. Wait, oh. Hey, Judd. Hey, Judd, uh, it's Kevin. I just wanted to, uh, did you pay Olivia already or no? Uh, I mean, I paid Olivia for some stuff. I don't know if it was all the stuff. Did you pay her uh, 2500 Because she sent me a message uh, with all the jobs she did. No. You didn't? Okay. I'll go ahead and just make sure she gets paid for that. She She's done a lot of jobs. I'm pretty sure she's not lying. I fired a lot of people. Oh. Wait, you did? How many people? Yeah, just take a look. All right. Yeah, I was going to talk with you about uh, who you think should get fired. And uh, I'm scrolling through. I don't see the specific names, but I see that is a much shorter list. Who's Jedward Tubbs, yeah. Judd? Um, well, what happened was I went to go fire somebody, and I, I got the wrong number in. And it just, hey, I'll put someone on the company list, even though they never were there. And now they're fired, too. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really gone through all these specifically, but uh, so what made you, what what helped you decide who to fire and who to keep? What was the deciding factors? Because I know everybody in the city and I know how there are and then I know who comes and actually does jobs and everyone I fire doesn't come and do any jobs. So that's, so basically the company's exactly where it was without them, to be honest with you, right? Yeah, and then... Uh, there was a guy named Wayne. I call him 50 Cent. He, uh, he yeah. came to me about needing to get paid. I fired him because I never seen him. But I rehired him because he, you know, he called me immediately. And he said, you yeah, know, Wayne's hey, good. I did like five grand worth of jobs. Right? Which I checked and he didn't. He did like two grand worth of jobs. So he lied to me. So I called him in his line. I hung up on him. And he called me back and apologized and admitted <laughs> he lied to me. So I paid him half of what he was owed for lying to me. So we only got a thousand cents <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's good. Wayne Wayne's a good guy. I'm not surprised he lied there though, I'll be honest. You hey. catch him on their shit, Judd. I like it. It's good. It's good. Uh -huh. Okay, alright, perfect. So Wayne, yeah, Wayne's a good one. I'm just that that's you handled that perfectly. Alright, cool. Alright, no problem. Anything else that Kiki's I should know? Fired. Oh, I didn't even know Kiki was hired in the first place. My bad. Yeah, and I'm gonna have her killed. What? She did. Wh okay, uh, what for? She's beating me with a flashlight. <laughs> Can't have that. Uh, alright. I mean, do what you gotta do. I uh, kinda wanna stay out of it, though, because her and I have a little bit of history. I feel like that'd be a little out of place for me, but you do what you gotta do, well, Judd. I trust you in that. If it makes you feel any better, Joe authorized it. Oh, well, you go ahead then. You, you kill her. You go for it. Go ahead, Joe. No, I won't. I don't get my hands dirty, but it's being it's being done. Okay, so she's going to die, but it's just you're going to be okay. I well, get it. no, she ain't going to die. I kind of exaggerated. They're just going to bust her kneecaps with a bat and tell her she's fired. That's good. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds fun. Uh, if you need any help, let me know.
I'm going to probably head up to the vineyard and just, you know, maybe have a cigarette, just chill for a bit. Yeah, I'm up here right now. All right, might see you soon. All right, thank you, Judd. Anything? Wait, is there anything else? Uh, oh, yeah, I fired Buddha, but then I rehired him. What for? He robbed me, so then I uh, took his job away and made him give the money back before I'd rehire him. Did you, get, you got the money back, I take it, considering he's rehired? Uh, I sure damn did. All right. Well, damn, Judd, you got everything under control. I like that. All right, I'll see you soon at the vineyard. All right, bye. Okay. Judd's abusing his power. Uh, no, he's using his power. It's a difference. All right. And all these stupid peasants out here on the street that don't have any can be jealous of that fact. Uh, they can call it quote unquote abusing, but in reality, that's just what power does. You can be upset, you can be jealous. That's just life. Fucking cocks. Uh, apparently my car is right up here. Yeah, Judd, uh, Judd does a hell of a lot better job than I do when it comes to managing all these people, making sure they're not stealing, making sure they're... Really, that's pretty much it. Not stealing, making sure they get paid, etc. You just gotta be on a fuck ton to do that, and I'm not on nearly enough. Alright, let's see if I can spawn my car now. Where the fuck is it? Alright, it's apparent I think it's in the garage. Uh so it's just not tracking it. But I'm the face of the vineyard, right? Judd doesn't really have a he doesn't have that vineyard look, so to say, that's required for a business of the kind of class that we try to provide. Did it say garage Q? Fuck, am I retarded? Yikes. Alright, garage Q is over there. Going the wrong way. Don't hit me, bitch. Pretty soon we might start selling avocado toast as well. Things are looking up for us. Uh, we got ourselves a full-time lawyer, Murphy Braun, to represent the company. Um, the only thing is the cops can't find out about our illegal transactions of Chinese parts that we uh, tend to sell. It's a side business that, Kev or that Joe informed me of. Those Chinese illegal parts. Gotta make sure that stays on the down low. Illegal electronics, exactly. So, Joe told me, again, Joe told me that, uh, that, you know, he hasn't been entirely honest with me, and that it's not just wine, alright? And the police are after us. It's illegal Chinese parts. So, we gotta make sure that stays secret. It's nothing too bad, but you know how the cops are trying to take down the big business. They're just jealous. So honest wine, just a little bit of crime. Nothing too, too much. Now out of character, I don't know when the fuck they're gonna tell me that they're like the lead heads of the cocaine in this entire city. What are they gonna tell me? I don't know. But right now, Chinese parts. Got it. My immersion. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I don't really, I don't have any plans of what I wanna do today. I'm honestly okay with sitting up at the vineyard and just smoking a cigarette the whole fucking time. Couldn't care less. 
I'm sure I'll have a couple cops come by. I'll tell them to fuck off, get off my property. No plans. Uh, maybe I'll get my car fixed, but nothing substantial today unless it, uh, unless some substantial shit happens, right? Really feeling low energy. Excuse me, my car is fucked. Oh yeah, my engine is destroyed. I mean, one big thing now, uh, and I'm okay with this, I am, but I can't do crime anymore. Like, I, I mean, like, not even for fun. Even when I'm bored, I cannot rob a jewelry store. I cannot rob houses. I can't get caught doing any of that. I just can't. It would ruin my character because I, I well, I guess then I'd have to, at that point, I would just be a full-on criminal because I would lose the vineyard. The judges would take it away. Fuck that. That's not the kind of story I'm going for. If it happens, it happens, right? But I like just running the vineyard. Only problem, again, is it just it has a lot of downtime. New character. Nah, I'd rather play different games at that point, right? I've got other things to play other than GTA RP. I made it. So that's kind of just where I'm at, right? I'm venturing off into, you know, full-time bosshood, and I'm not really sure what kind of, uh, you know, things that enables me to do. I only know what things it enables me to not be able to do. I'll learn. I'll figure it out. You can pull elaborate pranks on your employees like Joe did. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably just gonna fuck with my employees. Cox. Got a lot less employees though. After a lot of them got fired, that's okay. Yikes. Evening, Judd. Good morning. Hey, hey, Kevin, can I talk to you for a second privately? Speedy's over there doing the job. Sure thing. Oh. Uh, are you just trying to call me? You want to talk? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. That. That's weird. Dang it. Okay. All right. What's up, man? Oh, office. All right. All right, what's going on, Judd? Get over here or it's a little more quiet. Kevin, okay, you want to have a say? Uh, sure. What the fuck is this? All right. I got an issue. All right, what's the problem? Well, as I told you, Mr. Buddha robbed me earlier today. But what How I much? didn't tell you is that, uh, hey, it wasn't so much. It was about $300, but it's about principal for me. Of course. So, I kidnapped Mr. Buddha. I took him out in the woods, and I put a gun to his head. Okay. And you know what Mr. Buddha told me? What did he tell you? He told me he knows everything about this vineyard. He knows every information going on here because you've been telling him. And what is that business that he knows of? I don't want to elaborate on that, but he's been saying stuff. Like what? Like what, frankly? Whoa, I don't whoa. like, all right? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. People going around saying stuff at a company that I work for, Kevin. I trusted you. Now, now listen here, Judd. Okay, calm down. I don't know what he told you, all right? But... That man's more than likely lying, considering Joe hasn't even told me everything about this place. Has he told well, you? Well, see, that, that brings Joe, well, that brings Joe in the question, right? Because Joe so arrogantly hires you 
We're probably mm-hmm. not paying too much attention to what's really going on here. So I figure I'm running this place now. I'll kill you. I'll kill Whoa. Joe. And fuck it, I'll kill Otto. And this place will just be mine. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Judd. So you got... All right. Big boy shoes. You're putting on the big boy boots now, I see. Okay. Yeah, is this, okay. Yeah, okay. Is okay. Scary? Hey. hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Listen. You don't yeah, need you to like shoot. That. You don't need to shoot me. Don't be snitching, Kevin. I'm, I'm not gonna say, you know me, I don't stitch anymore, okay, Judd? All right, listen, what do you want? All right, what do you want? Listen, I know a guy that can interrogate, all right? He'll get the truth out of you. He's here, and we'll find out. Interrogator, where are you? Excuse, what? What do you mean? Interrogator. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, my. Jeez. <laughs> show again okay <laughs> okay <laughs> i was yeah, under the am- baby <sighs> hey, it's just a prank that's that was real that was Damn. real good that was real good i was oh actually my god i you actually had yeah, me you know, going there i was thinking how do we get him this time because there's nothing i can do that's gonna debate you anymore and, well, I mean, you know, Judd came up with that one. Well, I mean, it, and, listen, uh, Joe, it, okay, how much does Judd know? Does he know about the those things you told me about yesterday that might, you know, isn't very good? What, what are you talking about? I don't know nothing. He doesn't know nothing? Okay, all right, well, I guess yeah. there's nothing. Cool. All right, well, that was really good. That, you got me. <laughs> yeah. What, what uh, were you thinking? You what was, what, like, how, what were you thinking you were going to do? What was I going to do? Well, I was going to, you know, not die first. And then I was probably going to inform you of the situation. And I thought we were going to have to kill Judd. Not going to lie. That's that's what I was thinking. Well, holy shit. You probably thought there was some top-notch corruption going on, huh? I thought, uh, I honestly thought Judd, you had me going there. I thought Judd was trying to, you know, putting on shoes too big for his feet. And he was going to, you know, in the moment, be the tough guy. Let him be the tough guy. <laughs> and I, I... Just, you know, try and not die myself. Yeah, I don't even change my shoes. I wouldn't put on ones too big. I've had these my whole life. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, fuck you both. Good one, though. Good one. That was... That was... That was good. You actually fucking got me. And you guys keep raising the bar. Who knows? Next time you'll bring in a helicopter. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Now... Now, let's discuss uh, what's going on here with the employment... Uh, with the employment chaos here. Um, Lots also, of people Judd, getting is there fired. any way you can wear a Hawaiian shirt? Ah, uh, no. I can't even change my head or nothing. It's crazy. <laughs> he wants okay. us all out wearing Hawaiian That's shirts. Fine. <laughs> um, so... We had a lot of employees. That's been narrowed down. I'm thinking we might even need to narrow down a little bit more, but we'll figure that out. We'll give people a chance before we lay them off. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking I kind of want to keep just, if it comes down to it, just women here. What? So, yeah, Wait, just what? women. What? I think that would be pretty cool. Why? What, what's the reasoning? I mean, could you imagine just having straight up women working for us? <laughs> Do you understand the, the customers that would bring in? This place would be like the fucking Playboy Mansion. Yeah, but we wouldn't get any products. Statistically, women are the worst workers. Kevin it, told me that. It's, it's true. They t- statistically are the worst. That's true, but listen, this product sells itself. You gotta, All you right. gotta put away the inner end cell right now, and think I, about the, the, the Listen, the I'm, I'll do whatever you tell me to, Joe. If you think this is a good call, by all means, let's hire all women. Just understand that there's gonna be some drama going on and a lot of shit talking behind people's backs because women are involved. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, 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 we can, we, it's, it's fine. You wanna just hire, fire all the men and just hire women? Maybe. Yeah, we wouldn't be sexist, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's kind of like asking for a relationship times however employees Let's we do got. it. Hey, no, screw it. Let's uh, do it, Joe. Fuck it. I mean, we could give it like a week-long trial. Okay. One week, only women. I mean, here's the thing. W- women will have less of a criminal record, won't they? No, that's not true at all either. Um, really? I don't know. I, I feel like statistically, actually, in this case, women might have less of a record because, uh, well, they sort of just depend on men, right? And usually the men are the well, ones no, that get the jobs think, done. 
don't they get like uh don't they get like smaller sentences compared to men so they just don't stay in jail as long maybe all right well, I don't know. Maybe you're. Uh, maybe said, you're. Uh, you I, might I be think... a genius, Joe. You might just be a genius. This might uh, be uh, really well, smart. You know, I'm thinking. Aside from that, we also it's becoming summer. So, I think what I want to do is I really want to employ just that that, you know, tropical atmosphere. <laughs> you know, so I'm thinking, you know, we have you know all of our all of us. We we put on our our tropical clothes. You know what I mean? Clothes you wear when you go to the beach. So, women um, in bikinis working here full time. Um, I'm not <laughs> saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, summer beach attire, whatever that may be. Okay. No, I see what you're saying. Well, women. Yeah. It's not. It's not our fault that that attire consists of very limited clothing. That's their fault, not ours. Exactly. Um. <laughs> With that said, uh, that you know, I think that would be a good seasonal dress code to really inspire the customers uh, to want to come up here. Now we have to solve the issue of loitering here. The cyclists. Yeah, the cyclists and you know, individuals that that you know, we got to maintain the the dignity of the property. So I think maybe that will help when we have security, you know, minimizing situations like cars getting, you know, broken into, blown up, people getting uh, fighting in the parking lot, cops showing up, you know, stuff like that. The damn planes as well. So I, yeah, I think, yeah, exactly. I think we need to enforce, um, you know, a little bit of martial of class law. here. Oh, yeah. You know, just a little bit of class. <laughs> okay. Know? So, yeah, but I, I'm liking this whole women thing. Um, I've got to make sure they're paid well as well. Keep them working. Mm -hmm. And uh, all right. So uh, here's. Let me get this straight. All right. You want to go ahead and just clear off all, most of the employees that are men. Fire them all. Let them know. Uh, you know they did great, but they're not women. It's tough shit. Look for some women. Scout out. Find good women. Uh, do you know Olivia, Joe? Yeah, I met her last night. I acted like I was looking for a job. And she really. <laughs> How was she? I really tried to. You know, I, I try. What I do is when I meet these employees, I, I try and convince them to take over the company with me as some random. And I offer them a lot of money to steal wine and, and product. And she passed the test. Yeah, I've been yelling at her. She's pretty loyal at this point. She uh, She's real scared to upset me. Yeah, she said she referred to you as alpha in getting things done that's good that's what i'm going for you know i gotta adapt to my environment the best i can let's try and find more olivia's olivia wouldn't yep. mind wearing a bikini attire we need she olivia's. Mind maybe maybe we get a yellow page ad out there saying mm -hmm. you know um we're looking to you know increase our diversity here at the vineyard but in reality we're only looking for women yeah. Oh, sure thing. I can get so one of those ads like, out. We're expanding on our diversity here. Um, you know, women. Yeah. Women are that. smart and funny, beautiful and capable of everything a man is capable of. And, you know, we want you to prove us right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you got to find out a way to swing it in the yellow pages, make it sound good. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have an issue know, there, Joe. Why? Well, if we fire all the men and tell them we're fired because they're not women, then we'd be open to lawsuits, right? Well, we or... don't tell them that. We but just lay, off, lay, that. lay people just off. That's all he's on tell them. Well, I mean, of course, before I do anything substantial like that, I'll clear it up with Joe. Joe will make sure I don't do anything that stupid. It's the reason he's the boss, not me. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, now, listen, Joe's I, gonna I, make sure you do something that's not stupid. All right, yep, go ahead. I told Gladys that she could get a job here, so I think she's going to be exempt from the whole bikini. Bikini. Um, I think that'd be a favor to us all. You know. Yeah. So, not that it needs to be a bikini, but you know. 
I think just for the sake of you know her maturity, I don't think that it's necessary for her to follow suit with the uh, dress code. So now Kelly Smith, we're all aware of Kelly Smith, right? Yeah, Kelly Smith is banned from the premises, as far as I know. He'll be back. Yeah, I know Kelly. What about Kelly? Well, he'll be back, and uh, he's a problem. If you're talking about the cyclists and the loitering, uh, he is definitely one of the worst of them all and definitely has spoken to me that he speaks for all cyclists. I gave him a piece of my mind. I, I hit him in the face a couple times, beat him up, told him what was going on, and he ended up coming back, actually poured gasoline uh, on the vineyard. Didn't get to light it on fire, stopped him before that happens, but he's definitely yeah. getting aggressive. Jesus. Well, uh, I think Kelly, I handle Kelly. I know exactly how to handle Kelly. I know yep. him well. Perfect. And that's, all you gotta do yep. is grow a mustache, and when you see Kelly, just help him up. Be like, "Oh, nice mustache there, Kelly. Wish you can grow one like mine. Nice little stick on there, bud." He'll lose his shit. He'll lose his shit and be gone. Trust me. Well, Ooh. see, that would get him to go away. But I'm talking about revenge. I mean, he poured gasoline on my vineyard while I was here. Yeah. See, you yeah. can, you can make him stop showing up, but no, he needs to feel some pain. His suffering is going to be my happiness. Okay. Another idea. Kidnap Kelly, take him out in the woods, and shave off his mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I really like that. I like that. We'll take him to a barber and force him um, to get rid of it. I'm sorry. I'm having some sesame seeds. Or uh, some flower seeds. Um, why don't we take... Kelly to the florist, dangle him by his ankles and slit his throat. And I feel like that's one way to learn. Yeah, but that's boring. I kind of a, I don't. I kind of want to side on Judd with that's this a bit one. Radical. Well, I, I, I actually, to be honest with you, Joe, after everything I've seen, that's actually boring. I actually would just like to get rid of his mustache and force him to walk around without one for the rest of his life. You think he'll really do that? Well, I mean. Yeah. At least for a little bit. No, take well, him shit. to a can clone him and grow one back, you know? You pretty sure he's not going to go cry? No. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to cry. The people at the winery made me take my mustache off. That's not cool. <laughs> and then we'll say, I don't know what he's talking about. He's a lunatic. Hey, yeah. anybody got some food? Uh, Speedy? Oh, hi, Speedy. Yeah. Hello. I need some food put on. Uh, let me see what I got for you, Speedy. How long you been there? I don't know, 20 seconds. Okay. Thank you. Wait. Speedy's fine. Fuck. Speedy's fine. He, uh, he's, me and him have done some pretty, uh, fucked up shit together, so he's not that big of a deal. Shit, I can't pick it up, okay. god damn it. What? So, oh, yeah. You wanna uh, you wanna get started on this whole uh, you know rebranding thing, women and whatnot? I can get yeah, started I on that. Yeah, I think the rebranding. How about this? Honest wine, or zero crime, honest wine. Um, come and dine. The vagine. girls here are fine. Lots vagine. Oh. Oh yeah. You know, Kevin, what do you think about this hiring all women? What? I mean, I know, I, I know uh, you're like you know Joe, whatever you say, but give me your honest opinion. What do you honest think about opinion, this? Uh, Olivia has somehow, some way, shown to be one of our best employees. Yes. I don't, I, I, yes. it color me actually really surprised, Judd. Uh, I, I feel like you would probably agree that she's done a lot. She works hard and she doesn't actually mess up very much. I agree. Which is pretty surprising. So I'm willing to give this a try, but one thing I do know yep. is there will be drama and uh, we might have to kill a couple of them to get that to calm down at some point. Well, let's uh, let's just let it run for a week. Let it run its course. Let's sort of moderate this drama if we can. Um, we want to promote, you know, just a, a positive work environment. Um, well, Stephanie said this you know. about me. And Lindsay, well, she doesn't give me the time of day. And I thought that Stephanie was beautiful and she didn't give me the compliment back. And you know what? I just thought I'd tell you about it. Get ready for that shit. 100%. Well, then you know what? Women at all, Let them like, fight. No kiki, Let them right? fight. No kiki. I mean, if you want one woman to kill them all, that'll be Kiki. Well, Kiki's on my shit list right now. It's been dealt with. How about this? If they 
if they bring their arguments onto the work env- into the work environment, they lose their job. And they can go back. They can go back to the strip club, as far as I'm concerned. Big, I thank you, Joe. I completely agree. How many women do you um, think are out of here in the city looking for a job like this? Do you think? Well, eleven. Probably. That's hard to tell. How about this? We gotta do it. Uh, how about this? We like say you know, calling all women. Uh, casting a commercial for the vineyard and then we just tell them that you know, oh we're casting women for a commercial and your role is to work at the vineyard and then we just you know have them work here maybe, maybe so that just, way just tell them that like... work is this really long commercial exactly just we film Easy. for eight hours a day every day for one year exactly and we avoid <laughs> any sort of criticism whatsoever bitches love clout They'd love to be on if they if they're being filmed. Oh, trust me, they'll make sure they look yep. good. Uh huh. And then we get all those ladies. We have them all running around, you know, in the in their summer attire, really accentuating that that summer feel, that summer vineyard uh, feel. And uh, you know, the more exotic, the better. <laughs> you know. I agree. Any news on the uh, the sandwiches, Joe? That you were looking forward to. Sandwiches. The avocado sandwiches. You thought we were going to start selling those. Any news? Oh, you know, I got to talk to Otto about that. Okay. I got to I gotta talk to Otto about that, and we'll see. Um, when that can happen, that's going to be amazing. And, I, hey, I'm really fucking looking forward to this. Oh, you think? Uh, you, uh, me too, Joe. About the me too. Get some nice food. You know, people are starving up here, and it's real far from the city, so... With everyone, you know, being up here all the time, a place to, you know, grab a meal, I think uh, it's ideal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was talking about the women, but the oh. avocado is going to be great. Well, it's a combination of sorts. You know, we provide yes. luxurious women, luxurious food, luxurious wine, everything luxurious. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, I don't want this place to be like a rap music video. It's not going to be trashy chicks and bikinis. This is... This is going to be like, think of it like, you know, when James Bond goes to a foreign country and there's always that exotic party with the girls and they're like, oh, Mr. Bond, what's a man like you doing in, you know, Brazil, mm -hmm. Brazil? And he's like, no, I'm uh, on vacation. I want it to be like that. I want that kind like of a, environment. Yeah, like a Classy. movie music video. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. You know what we need, Joe? We need a woman what's that? that knows exactly what we want from her. And can pass down those characteristics and skills to the other fellow employees so they know how to act. A leader. A leader of those women. A leader. Uh, who could that leader be? Well, we gotta. I, I, first, here's what I think. If you wanna move forward with this, I could definitely get some interviews going, find some of these women. Once we find some of these women that are, you know, doing what we ask, we pick our favorite out of them and we. Uh, we see if they have the ability to train the other women to act, you know, the same way. Treat the customers the right way, talk correctly, exactly. wear the right clothes, and know exactly what we want from them. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's great. And also, I, you know, I would love to show up for some of these interviews as oh, well. Oh, for sure. And really sort of gauge uh, the level of understanding of what's going on with, with some of these individuals. Um, that sounds great. It sounds like a great rebranding for summer. Okay. Um, I can get that yellow page out right now if you want, Joe. And I'll uh, let yes, you proof sir. it. Yes, sir. Yes, fucking sir. Judd, right, this so is going to be I great. The guys. Well. I just hired so, Sergey. He was so happy. Okay, some of them deserve their job. I think what we do is we transition. You know what I mean? We... we Phase out and phase in over the course of time. Are we, uh, what's our, what are we called, Joe? Red, uh, Red Sea, whatever, what is it? Red Sea Enterprise. But, uh, now, Kevin, what, if, now, uh, what if you don't even like these women? Do you still hire them? Uh, it, it's not a matter of whether I like well, them, Judd. It's, it's the company. Yeah, it's it's just it comes down to quite it comes down to simplicity, you know. 
just ign- stop listening. You know, it's uh. If they, if they piss us yeah. off during the interview, well, I mean, at that point, yeah, well, they don't have, we don't have to hire them. They can go. I mean, if they can't do a simple fucking yeah. interview, they sure as hell can't do the job. They piss <laughs> off, then we, then we fucking yep. shank them, right? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> we will figure that out. Uh, uh, you know it. what, Kevin, actually, in the thing? Mm-hmm. Change it to Red Sea Entertainment. I feel oh, like, I like that, that might be a little bit more inspiring. Red Sea Entertainment. There we go. Yeah, you kind of swing it, but bend All it right. a little bit. Women on the street. Let me see if I can. Oh, jeez. Let me. You know what? I'm gonna write a note first so I can uh, read the whole thing. Okay. It's gonna be great. What do you think you should start with? Looking for a job? Question mark. Red Sea Entertainment is looking for you, or no, woman looking for a job, question mark. Yeah? That way they know exactly um, what we're looking for? Yes. Uh, why am I hearing sirens? Not sure, Joe. I don't know. Anything happen? Let me go check. All right, Joe, uh, uh, come look at this and tell me what you think. It's a okay. little rough draft, but maybe we All can right. make some changes. Woman looking for a job? Don't worry. We're hiring here at Red Sea Entertainment and doing interviews now. All that's required is one interview and our approval that you got what it takes. Call now. I like that. Short, simple, to the point. Yep, yep. That's All right, great. Kevin, I wrote one. What do you think? Uh, let me see it. I think mine's a little better, Judd, but uh, I appreciate the help. Yeah. Just a just a little bit better. <laughs> there you go. That's not a bad one, actually. We'll bring up the uh, you, the clothing attire and whatnot, Joe, during the interview. Otherwise, we might not get as many people coming in. That's, I feel like that's, that's true. I feel like if they show up and we, you know, just kind of, you know, ruffle them up a bit, scare them and whatnot, we can convince them yeah. to do more than if uh, if we talk about them on the phone, right? Exactly, exactly. This is going to be great. I think we're going to get a decent amount of calls. The fuck happened to my shit? It's going to be wonderful. Uh, so what the hell happened to my note? It got all... Did you mess with it, Joe? No, uh, whenever you use uh, punctuation, it, it fucks up sometimes. I see. Okay, I'll see if I can yeah. fix this. Yeah. The fuck? Right, I'm, gonna do, like, I'm gonna try and get this posted guards up. and female workers. The fuck. That way we can, you know, keep some of our guys. Why the hell? It won't copy. Oh that my might god. Be a good... Hey, uh, guys, I gotta go to the restroom real quick, alright? You go ahead, Joe. I'm working on this interview, or this, uh, getting this posted. Alright, well, at least I got something to do today. So I gotta basically be real fucking sexist, but I can do that. That's easy. I'm looking for a job. Uh, oh fuck, I can't edit this at all. Okay, let's just do this. I'm gonna screenshot it and just retype it out. Perfect, okay.
Hey, Jack, can you do me one favor? Could you read me uh, my phone number to me really quick? Yeah, let me see. Oh, let me get off my phone. Hey, snitchaloo, snitchaloo, here it is. 628-162-3375. Okay, and we've got the ad out. Let's see if we get, uh, you know, any women looking for a job here. We'll get them all hired up and whatnot. And we'll see if we can get them to do what we want. You ready to uh, to make sure these women are, you know, capable, Judd? You're gonna have to keep an eye on them for sure, like you are everyone else. I mean, I can stab them. That's, that'll work. I mean, as long as they're working right. like Olivia, you know, we just gotta shape them up like her, and we'll be just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, I'm getting a call from Mel, hold on. Uh, hello, this is Kevin. Kevin, I'm in a little bit of a conundrum. Are you at the vineyard? Uh, yes, I am. What can I help you with? Shit! Never mind. We just need a ride, and we don't want to call a taxi guy because they cost money, but you don't cost money because you're easily manipulated. I mean, a friend. A friend. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's so sweet of you, Je or Mel. I, I appreciate it. Listen, hey, uh, if, if you're okay, or if you can do this for me, if you find any women that need jobs, Mel, uh, we're doing a rework here at the vineyard where uh, we're hiring women only uh, We're gonna see how this goes So if you got any women friends right. that need a job, just let them know. Hey, we're hiring and we're doing interviews Do you know Gladys? Yeah, Gladys, uh, we, she already works here. Oh Shit, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, man. I'll be in touch. I'll find you. Um, you're not selling them or anything, are you? No, 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 we're not selling them. We're, uh, the only requirements, and don't Renting? tell them this, we want them to find out when they get here. Uh, they have to wear beach attire, uh, to work, and, uh, they have to be good employees and kind of know their place, right? Which is more important? Uh, I would say wearing beach attire might be the most important. Okay, all right, I'll find, I'll find some titties and let you know, okay, fella? All right, thank you, Mel, appreciate it. See, all right. Yeah, absolutely. Bye. Sex trafficking. I mean, it's getting real bad. It's going to be a Hooters winery. <laughs> it's just kind of like... All right, everything's good. He was asking for some help, uh, but turns out I'm unable to help him. He needed a ride. I'm up here, so... he. I, I told him about our situation. I said, if you got any girlfriends looking for a job or anything, you know, told him about our yellow page ad. You ever been to Hooters, Judd? Yeah. This is probably gonna turn into a Hooters. Are you okay with that? I mean, I reckon. Right. I don't know. I tried to drive my my tractor into a Hooters and park it inside there so it can serve me, but they wouldn't let me. That's fucked up. You see, yeah, we're just gonna be a, a higher class Hooters. Sell sandwiches, sell wine, uh, kind of sell women, right? Just a little bit. Not like, you know, full full objectifying them, but you know, it's like a little bit of object objectifying, like to the point where we're not crossing over that line. I mean, whatever, man. I'll, uh, be a prejudice and part of my culture, do whatever, I don't care. Perfect. We'll see if we get anyone, I don't know. All right. I feel like there's not a lot of women out in this city. It's a lot of fucking men. Yeah, seems that way. You'd think that, uh, since technically majority of the, uh, you know, people that sit inside all day and play video games and stuff, like, it's all men mainly, right? You'd think the women would be outside looking for a job and stuff, but it's just a little weird. It's just mostly no. men out here. That's it. It's men. <laughs> I'll tell you someone everyone's been having the hots for lately. It's that Brenda girl at the hospital. Brenda? I don't know why. Yeah. Who's I've seen like four dudes that proclaim their love for her. And some stuck up bitch at the hospital. She's got dang psychopath, uh, passive aggressive. I tell you, she can really get under your skin real quick. Everything you think about a woman you don't like, she is. You're talking. They love her. And this is Brenda? Yep. It's the classic woman manipulation. I've been there and I went through it. And uh, eventually I learned the truth. Here we are. They'll learn. They'll learn. Brenda seems to, uh, you know, master the arts of, you know, being a woman. So, 
She'll put them in their place. It's a matter of uh, this, whether this they're smart enough. Yeah, right. Okay. So, so I'll, you'll, you'll be Kevin. All right. Okay, I'll okay, I'm right Kevin. Now. All right. And you're going to just come up and ask me how I'm doing. Hold on, hold on. All right. Oh, let's see. It's actually, it's actually staying. Okay. It's like this. Well, well, uh, well, hi, Brenda. How, how, how's it going? Uh-huh. What you want, Kevin? Well, I was just... I don't really want anything. I was just, you know, asking how your day is. Is everything cool? You having a good time? Kevin, I got things to do. I don't have time for you right now. Oh, well, it's like, you know, if you ever, like, get time or whatever, like, maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I'll hit you up another time, like when when you got more time. I gotta get some coffee. Okay, wow. That's, Judd. That's uh, that's making me real nostalgic, and it's reinvigorating my hate for women altogether. That was good. Yeah, I know. what is? Yeah. He what? was showing. He was telling me about some bitch named Brenda that's uh, manipulating lots of men. Uh, where was it again, Judd? She works as a receptionist at the hospital. Fucking receptionist. Not a surprise. You know what? We to take the higher road and we invite these 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 bitches up for a nice night of steak and wine you want to go hunting joe I mean, is that what you're saying her. you may call brenda what do you mean hun oh hunting for me or hunting for pussy hunting for women to work here pussy technically yeah <laughs> hey um i mean if anything <laughs> if it comes down to it joe we could just maybe force them in the car get them here force them to work force them to wear the clothes we need and if they say anything at that point we just kill them maybe that's too far Well, I think that might be a step too far. All right. Yeah, tell me if I go too I far. Think maybe you let me know where the them, line is. Convi convincing them to come <laughs> here, I think, might actually be effective. And if we can't now, convince them, do we like take step two? Them, like, by... So well, I called her up. And... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I called her up in my yeah. nicest way, and I extended an invitation to come... Uh, them a tour to vineyard and she said no thank you and hung up on me yep what a oh. bitch um okay fuck her then she's oh. not welcome in fact she's banned Banned. see that's why i really want to get that toast here because uh you know i i joe maybe i'm a little power hungry but Nothing would make me happier than to see people right up there at the driveway begging to have our toast and then not being allowed to have any because they, uh, this they is, didn't comply. Yes. Yes, this is what I'm saying. When the women start showing up, people are going to want to be here and they're going to really regret not being a part of this. And I can't fucking wait. The possibilities are endless. They really are. Seems like we got the avocado same vision. Toast? Yeah, avocado toast is gonna blow this place out of the fucking water, as far as I'm concerned. Three tiers of it. Avocado toast. Avocado. Now get this: bread with avocado slices on it. That's that's the first that sounds tier. Sounds horrible. Four ninety nine. Now, second tier is avocado toast with. Uh, uh, it's bread with avocado on it. Maybe maybe and sprinkled pepper. Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, just or or just drizzle pepper. some pepper on it and then make it three dollars more. Yep. Eggs fucking Ackley. Now, the third tier is going to be twenty four ninety nine or is it twenty three ninety nine? Um, get this: toast with avocado, tomato, maybe a little bit of bruschetta. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, sprinkle lemon peel shavings on there. A little drizzle, a little bit of olive oil, pepper, Himalayan sea salt. Um, oh my God, they will play. They will pay for that. Oh Ooh, look, that sounds they like pay full price. Brenda's calling me. She's gonna try to nah. manipulate me. Here we go. Oh, it's Brenda. I'm not. I haven't gotten any calls right. yet, Joe. I, I may tweet it if we need to, but it might just be uh, not a lot of people out looking for jobs right now. It's a little late, you know. Tell me wrong number, huh? Yeah, it is. I think best situation yeah, for us um, is, uh, you know, new people moving to the city and making sure we pick them up, pick them up right away. Yep. Let's get them. You want, me, you want me to either that or we tweet about it? What do you think, Joe? You tell me what to do. Yeah, let's tweet about it. Um, All right. Hal, I'll throw out a tweet. You go ahead. Um, it's all I you. I want this to be, yeah.
Is Joe the owner of the server? No. But he's the right-hand man to Coil, or Otto, who's basically my boss's boss. So Joe's pretty high up there. And Otto is the, uh, he actually runs the server. I mean, behind the scenes. So when it comes to the vineyard, if you're looking at that story arc, it's sort of Otto, down to Joe, down to me, down to Judd. But the thing is, the vineyard is literally just a cover-up. They actually just run the coke on the entire server. <laughs> All so. right, tell me what you think about that tweet. Uh, let's see. You really love you really love the word bruh, don't you, Joe? Bruh, <laughs> bruh. Okay. You think that's a decent ad? I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I I wouldn't think you were Caucasian. That's that's where I'll 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 leave it there. All right. Um. I mean, feel free to throw out a tweet as well. I think the more the better. All right. Well, hey, uh, Buddha responded. He said he's on his way. I don't know how you feel about that, Joe. Um, I think I can face him like a man. That's not an issue. You know, I don't know where bra came from, like why I keep saying it. It just popped up yesterday during that meeting with the lawyer. Yeah, I and remember I that. I think it's just, it, it's been in my head ever since. Bruh, it's all right. Just say it. Bruh. 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 All right, I sent out my tweet. I mean, that's double All the right, uh, publicity. Okay. All right, I'll send, um, out a, uh, treat. I'll send out one too. Looking for women to work at the vineyard. We respect women and find them capable of everything um, a man can do. Help prove us right and come for an interview now. That's a good one. Yeah, we'll maybe make them feel like they're, you know, doing some type of good service for all women across the world. Then we'll ask them to wear the beach yeah, attire, yeah. and but at that point we've got them, yeah. we've got them where we want them, so they'll just they'll just kind of bend to our will. Yeah, keep in mind, like this is just, this is us just trying out something that might not work, and if it doesn't work, we just pull the plug on it and go back to what we're doing. Yeah, honest you know, truth, we got, we got a 50% success yeah. rate here, Joe. Yeah. And That's fine. I think we all are I'm on fine. the same page you on, know, you know, how if things are going wrong, what to do. If things are going right, keep, keep it going. All right, exactly. <laughs> you got a tweet too there, Judd? Let's see it. Okay, Judd. Okay, let me let me just proofread this again before I comment to you. Yeah, read it out to me. Looking for tractors to work at the vineyard. We respect tractors and find them capable of everything a human can do. Help prove us right and come for an interview now. Hashtag I fuck tractors. Uh... Well, I can definitely tell who wrote the tweet, so you got voice, Judd, you got voice. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we could have followers on our, on our, you know, on our Twitter. That way we could really grow the clout of the vineyard, and, and that way that would be the incentive for people. We could to definitely, uh, we could, we could pay a bot. We could get a bot to, you know, give us more followers so we seem bigger than, the, than we are. Oh, people will definitely show yeah. up then, especially the bitches. They love that stuff. Uh-huh, that big number. Is, is almost sometimes more valuable than money. Yep. I would say, uh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, dude. <sighs> I didn't have any plans today overall. You guys kind of, you got me with that prank. I didn't expect that at all. I came up here, I was just going to yep. smoke a cigarette for maybe six hours and go to sleep. But now, we've got a little bit of a plan. I see. We get, yeah. There's always something to improve. 
That's what I think. There's always something to improve. So that's that. I see uh, we got a lot of jobs available, Judd. Uh, a lot of deliveries. <laughs> you know, hey, hey, Joe, you know what would be hilarious? I, I truly hope What's to that? take one of these girls on another interview down to the uh, the ghetto like last time. This time the girl's wearing a bikini. Whoo! I mean, if those thugs come and take me, I'll just be like, hey, take the girl. You're going to have her. I just, I'll, I'll get away for sure. That'll be great. I'm sure they'd take him too. Fucking A. Barter. That's called barter, baby. You know? I think, uh, I think, I think I'm truly seeing the value of a woman. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always important not to lose track of that. It's just getting so that. bad. I'm gonna do a. A lot of people. You go ahead, Joe. They they don't understand the stress of being a man in this society. So, that's that. All right, I'm gonna dish out a payment to Olivia that I owe her. I think it's twenty five hundred. I'll do the math. Hold on. Ooh. Yeah, two thousand five hundred and eight dollars. Uh, she said she already did the math on it for me. What do you think, Judge? Should I do the math myself and double check it, or should I just send out the payment? Absolutely, never trust one man's math. Fair enough. I'll do the math myself. Let's see. Let me add it up. That's why Einstein was an Einsteiner. <laughs> or twenty. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. Oh, I fucked it up. Shit. Okay, I could probably just do this in my head. Okay, 920. I can't do this in my head. Let's just count this. One, two, three. Now listen. Four. I'm sure the news is going to be trying to tear into us on this one. One... Two, three, four, five. Hey, what's up, it. sir, gay? How are you guys? Thought maybe I come yeah, down here fucking uh, do, bitch some, line. do some jobs for you, eh? Yeah. How you do? Hey, guys, if you ever need a ride around the city, sir, gay, hook you up. He's the best driver ever. I thought of this. Hey, uh, sir, oh, gay. Yeah, well, you, Joe, you go yes. ahead. Welcome. I'm uh, excited to see you here on this late night shift. This place is remarkably beautiful at night. Yeah, all right. We don't. Uh, I don't have anything else we want to talk to him, Joe. Or are we just gonna leave that out for now? Oh uh, yeah, that was that. That's all I needed to say. All right, everything's the same, Sergey. You just keep working. Nice to. Uh, nice to see you here. Yeah, is that the uh, what's a uh, crazy guy? Uh, what his name is? Uh, Kevin's. Yeah, I'm I hear about yours. Yeah, I'm Kevin. I've seen you around here and there uh, at the apartment specifically, but haven't properly introduced myself. Nice to meet you, Sergey. Uh, I'm a fellow uh, person you can reach out to to make sure you receive your payments if Judd is not around. Sis. Hey, that's good. All right, I grab a van, then I uh, go what? Deliver the drugs? Yeah. Uh, the wine, the wine, specifically. The wine, the yep. wine. And, yeah. uh, well, this time... Hey, so wait, there's no drugs here. Just, uh, just a little friendly tip, considering, you know, you got us three here right now, Sergey. I really recommend you do not fuck this one up out of all the times to do a delivery. Yeah, we're going to be keeping our eye. Basically, what we're doing is we're going through and we're, we're doing a quality assurance uh, observation analysis. And uh, we're, we're, just, we're really checking to see if uh, the employees are being thorough with their deliveries. And, uh, and so uh, please be very careful with the project. Otherwise, uh, you may uh, result in termination. So This hasn't been the first time Sergei was tested and had to be the only one that comes back alive. Who you want dead? There we go. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, uh, Sergey, none of that. No, no, no. Listen, what you're doing right now, you're coming to work at this time, it's high risk, uh, high payoff. You know, you impress us. That's good. You know, that looks good on all three of us. But at the same time, you could also unimpress all three of us at the same time. So high risk, high gain. 
Yeah, this sounds yeah. easy. All right, I do a job. All right, don't fuck it up. You got this. Be the man that you know you are. Deep down inside, we all have that man inside of us. It's that primal fucking. Ah! Let me hear your Sergio. Let me hear your fucking. Ah! Let me yeah. hear it. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you this. I was in the choir when I was in school. Oh, you can sing? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, sing! You mind singing a little bit for us? Just a little bit. Hello, my friend. It's me, Sergey. <laughs> I come today to deliver wine for Zay. <laughs> hey, something like this. That was. Magnificent. Yeah, like, yeah, I think he Holy might be related shit. to T-Pain, hey. I'm pretty sure. Hey, not bad. No, that was like fucking, mm, what you say, mm, that you only meant well. That was fucking insane. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sergey, I got a question for you. You, uh, you got a girlfriend? Me to kill? No, 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 none of that, Sergey. You got a girlfriend? I have a wife. Her name Vika. I tell you this. Does uh does she need a job by any chance? Yeah, she needs a job. She depends on Sergey money all day to send to her. She go do this uh, online shopping, but Sergey have to work, work, work. Send her the money. I tell you this. Okay. Well, hey, listen. If she needs to, if if she needs a job, we're we're definitely hiring. Uh, either that, or if you know any other women at all, we uh we're we're looking for some of those, uh you know types of people. That'll, uh, you know, show up to work and really just be a good employee. My wife, uh, she in Russia, so maybe you get her here? Yeah, you can do this. Oh, shit. My fish is ready. I gotta go get my fish out of the oven. Hold on. All right? All right, fuck. All right, what? Get my fish. Yeah, that was his alarm for his, uh, his fish in the, uh, oven in the oh, office. Fish. Yeah. There's a ribo, yeah, and, and uh, I see it. I don't know if we can get her here from Russia, but... Uh, if, if if she ever ends up in town for whatever reason, or if you know any other it's women Siberia. at all, Siberia, Siberia, like a yeah, husky. Yeah, Sergey said they got camels there. Yeah, so like they have camels very hot there uh, during summer, Siberia. Like you mean the dog, the Siberian huskies? Yes, my friend. Of course, this. Ah, uh, interesting. Geologically, yeah. I don't really know anything, you know? I'm not really good uh, with, you know, directions and stuff and where stuff is. <laughs> yeah, that's why you, you use know, GPS. Vinny. The GPS, yeah. Well, I mean, I can get anywhere in this city pretty easily with the GPS, but man, I uh, my brain just flops when it comes to knowing where the fuck a Siberia is. They uh, have uh, Google, uh, Google Earth, you know this? They do the... Yeah. They go around the world and, uh, you know... Film people in like Africa and all this. Google Earth? What's a Google Earth? Hey. What do you mean? I, I'm at, what, what is a Google Earth? Explain this to me. I don't understand. I don't understand this. We have this in Russia. What do you say? Y'all have a Google Earth in Russia? Do we have one of those, Judd? Hey, the elementary school, we had a globe on, our, uh, on the table next to the American flag. Oh, I had. we had one of those too? Yeah, you just kind of spin it and just yeah. wherever your finger lands, boom, that's it. Yeah, it was we made had for like the a uh, or something. We we didn't have globe. We had like a pancake. It was very flat, very confusing. I wonder which is more accurate. Yeah. I guess we'll never know. You know, my friends. <laughs> leave that up to science, guys. Eh? Probably leave it to the uh, you know the people that post about it on the internet. They usually know what they're talking about. I'll, I'll. There's a few that, that are very smart, yeah. Very smart people on the internet. Hey, uh, Kevin, you know Vinny? Vinny, uh, the car dealership, Vinny? Yeah. Yeah, what about him? I've seen him a couple times. You ever notice he's got a, uh, he's got a face like a St. Bernard? <laughs> I, whoo, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, whoosh, right over my head, uh, Judd. I don't know what you, what you mean. What's a St. Bernard? No. Oh, you know, like from the Beethoven? Bible? You ever oh. saw the show Beethoven? You mean the the music artist? No, the dog Beethoven, the movie. You know, the dog, the Saint Bernard. Nope. 
<laughs> Never seen it. Yeah, I don't see. I don't. I guess I'm. Awkward. I'm just pretty dumb, Judd. I'm pretty dumb, but I'm damn successful, Judd. Damn successful. You're good at what you do. So why does it matter uh, how smart you are? You know. <laughs> Fair point. You get any messages, uh, Joe, call. for the women? No, um, you know. Hey, uh, Jet, can I talk to you? Strangely yeah. enough, you still in town, Melody? Do you know who Melody is? Uh, Melody, Melody, Melody. I feel like I've actually seen a Melody at some point, Joe. I don't know. I'll, I'll text her back. I'll say, like, oh, new number, who's this? Yeah, hit her with that, see what she says. I mean, I know Mel. Even you though and I she both just know told, him. Even though she, you know, no, I don't know who Melody is. Even though she just oh. told me her name, I still yeah. asked who's this. Oh, Joe, uh, I'm gonna be okay. Listen, I think I know who Melody is. I think you just hit me. Uh, who's Melody? So okay, Melody <clears throat> is a girl that Eugene and I took into the sticks and kind of. I don't know how she lived, but. We were under the impression that we might have killed her, just because uh, she was a woman. That was the only reason why you killed her? No, no. Well, you see, we were going to pull a prank, and it was going to be kind of funny. Uh, we wanted to pull a prank on a woman. Yeah. Uh, but things escalated, and I think we ran over her, and yeah, that's really kind of where that ended up. Okay. Maybe well, she won't. Maybe she doesn't remember. I don't know. But just letting you know, that is that did happen. That that really did happen. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Uh, well, all right, friends. I'm be back soon. Sure thing. Any Go ahead, Sergey. To our tweets, at all. Where it, where are all the hoes at? Joe, Where's we might have to go hunting. I'm telling you. Like. Usually they would be fucking coming through, you know. Thank God we're not throwing a party. Jesus. Oh, a party would just be it would just be awful. My ears would be destroyed the entire time. Everyone would just be yelling. That is the worst. Uh, now we're gonna have to go scout for hoes, aren't we? Probably, Joe. Probably. Hey, whose car is this? I don't know. I do not know. I mean, it's a nice car. I just don't know whose it is. Want it? Oh, I, well, oh, I think. Hey, no, that's that's Sergey. Yeah, I that's think Sergey just pulled up in that. That's why. Nice car. Wow. Wow. Geez. Yeah, that's his luxury premium taxi. Uh, well, well that be this. Where the hell's my car? Well, I think Back it's way up here. I don't know where my car is. Uh, give me a moment. Where'd you park it? I think right over here. Hello? <laughs> yeah, uh... I mean, you know, Facebook is... I think it's supposed to Facebook be around right here. Facebook is hiring for positions. Facebook is hiring? Really? Yep, that's, that's probably what's going on right now. You see Shoot. the fucking... International news uh, up there. Oh, don't let Sergey know he's Russian. He'll be all over that. Holy shit. They're trying to fuck us. Well, we could go steal some of their employees. Tell them they got a, they can get a better yeah. job here. Don't fuck hop in. us like that. I hope you don't mind that I eat fish, uh, fish in your car. Don't care at all, Joe. I get this shit repaired and cleaned pretty much every day. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, there goes a tire. Damn. The other bank account looking, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, we're making a lot of money here, Judd. I'll be honest, it's good. Uh, don't mind, don't mind the tires doing their thing. It's everything's fine. We'll get there in one piece. It's all that matters. I might need to take this to a mechanic. Thank you. 
You think Vinny could fix this? Yeah, he can fix a little bit of it. Well, that would be super swell. Those mechanic shops aren't open at night time, except for Ben maybe. Oh, this is not an easy car to drive. Damn. So at this Facebook thing, how exactly does that company work? What do they do there? I don't know. I think they just log everyone's private life and sell it to other companies. Well, how does that benefit anyone other than themselves? It doesn't, but you know, they're the ones making the money, so fuck them. Who the hell would take a job there? What do they use as incentive? They pay you, to, you know, to stuff to take people's information so they can resell it to China. What's the car sound? I don't have tires. All right, I have two missing tires. That's why I'm kind of fucking driving on ice That's right now. Red. Okay, so let's get there. Let's just see what's going on. See if there's any potential employees that are women. Whoa. And if we see any, we just pull them aside and tell them uh, how much better of a life they could have at our company instead. We'll poach them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get every woman here in the city except for Brenda. You know, I'm, Brenda's starting to piss me off. I'm thinking we should force her to work there, to be honest with you. I don't even think you can force her. She'll just say no and go drink her coffee. She'll just say no and leave. Damn. It's a woman making me feel powerless right now. I don't enjoy this feeling right now, Judd. I really don't like this. Oh, it's a tough world we live in. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you mark it up for me, Judd? Where the I, I got it. Hold on. Yeah, we're real close, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop out when we get there and just repair this car just a little bit, see if I can get the tires to function properly, because I feel like I'm driving on ice right now. Mm. Yeah, this fish is fucking delicious. Making me hungry, Joe. Making me real hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and repair this up. What if we do it at the same time? I wonder who'll be fired. I'm not sure. I, I, hold, I, my pockets are being a little weird right now. Yeah, give it about 30 seconds. Yeah, I'll just. I wonder if this fish. I, I wonder if this fish is approved by by Bofa. Who, the bounty hunter? No, both of these nuts. Driving on ice being a metaphor for Soda relying on the ice Poseidon character trope? <laughs> okay. You have actual mental illness. I'm just gonna... Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Pockets are still being all weird on me. Yeah, get a little bit. Every 30 minutes. Try to do as less stuff as possible. That way you don't get yourself all fucked up. Just wait. All right. I'm just waiting then. I don't get to see the city very much anymore, Judd. I'll be honest. I fucking Fuck love you. it. I don't have to see this shit. Yeah. You know, I went to the city earlier today. I was at the vineyard. I did like two jobs. I was like, I don't see what's going on in the city. I go, I see the police chasing a bus with 12 people on it. All scream out the top of their lungs. I went back to the vineyard. What? A bus of 12 people being... Ch yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Just 12 people all riding on a stolen bus, and then you had Sal Rosenberg trying to catch it on fire the whole time. 
No, it's that 12 people on the bus? What? Uh-huh. What are they doing? Oh, Eugene was there. I heard them on it. They were just driving the bus from, running from the cops. That's exceptionally fucking stupid. Yep. Cops wouldn't have you know. They were pissed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. How, how do you stop that? I think they like. I was there when they stopped it. They sort of just surrounded it completely, and then I think they tasered the driver. It looked like. Wow. Judd, my pockets, oh, uh, man, there's, I think, I think I got gum stuck in there or something. I still can't, I can't get it open. Yeah, just chill. It's a yeah. long 30 seconds, Judd. Hey, you know, it's been like that all day. Just uh, give it a bit. Oh, God. He had half the server on that bus. Fucking Christ. Yeah, young dab. That's pretty funny. Let me see. All right, looking for tractors. There's nothing going on on Twitter. <sighs> They're at the courthouse, not Facebook. Well, you know, we'll have to find that out in game, won't we? Thanks for telling me. That's really helpful. Appreciate it. I guess we had half the server at the vineyard. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to get things prepped up. It's just we're try, uh, trying to manage the vineyard appropriately, right? You don't want to have everyone at the vineyard, but because we do have a lot of people there, it's just how it is. The vineyard's a popular hot spot. I think we want to try and get food up there. You know, give just bring more up there since people are there now, right? But we did fire a lot of employees because it was just weird having so many people there and it was just a little out of place. Oh, it was announced in game? Oh. Okay, Judd, my pockets, uh, I think this gum is pretty fucked. How about you, Joe? Can you go in your pocket? No, I can't. These they don't take this long. It's weird. I can't. Well, fuck it. Let's go see if anyone's here. Hello, hoes. Hoes. Hello, whores. Uh, any beautiful women looking for an uh, honest job, honest living, good pay? Coming through with a David Beckham outfit. We mean business because you can tell by the way we walk and talk and dress. Fucking empty. What the hell? Where do you think they are if they're trying to get these jobs? I'm not sure. It says come to the courthouse. Where does it say Not that? The Facebook place. In the Twitter. Oh, they tweeted it. Fuck, are we stupid? Yes. Well, don't tell anyone. I already knew it was the courthouse. I just figured I'd let you roll with it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Judd. I don't know who's uh, dumber, us or you. Yes. Oh, vending machine. I'm hungry. Bruh. Fuck this place and everything it stands for. Yeah, fuck this place for the most part. And fuck stairs. All right, I'll just go ahead and drive this, uh, whatever the fuck this car it's is. Fine. Yeah. Do it. Wait, I got an idea. What's that? 
Why don't you just go put it in the garage over here and let the valet fix it? Just it just broke when you ever you tracked it. Alright, I'll mark it to this garage by by the courthouse. We'll do that. Alright. I mean this car is busted to a point of it it is I'm surprised it moves. If I hit a fly, it might make it blow up. That's kind of where it's at. All right. All right, here we are at the garage. Our seatbelt's yeah, broken. Yeah, this car as well. sounds like bronchitis. <laughs> it's the beautiful sound of the screeching tires. You either love it or you hate it. All right, everyone out. I guess the valets are gonna yeah. take a while too, huh, Judd? Yeah, I didn't really think that one through. I forgot about that. That would be kind of. The fuck is going on with the city tonight? Gum stuck in my pocket. Valets yep. aren't even showing up. I don't know what's going on. I'll be honest. Ever since that bus with like twelve people on it, everything's been scuffed as hell. That bus must have caused oh, a lot of commotion. God. Yeah. Damn it! How are we supposed to get all these women working up at the vineyard now? I mean, I don't think this car means business. It means, uh, like, if ugh, if I'm just like a pretty girl, see, I'm not gonna hop in this car and feel safe. I feel like this is, uh, they'll probably know exactly what we're doing, and that's not what we yeah. want. Yeah, it's gonna be sleazy and greasy. Yo, you kinda sound like my friend Ichigo just then. That was crazy. Isn't that his other Who? character? Ichigo? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But people call him, uh... They call him, uh... What's the word they use? A freak. What? I don't ever say it, though. Well, with a name like Ichigo, how could you not be a fucking freak? Eh. Nah. You didn't bully people, Joe. Yeah, fuck him. Is that the courthouse right up there on the left? I think I'm dumb. Where the hell is this place? I can never find the courthouse. Yes, you are. Unmark the map, I got you. Damn, it is way over there. I was off by miles. Hey, but you found the, uh, the lucky plucker. I, wait, I found the what? The lucky plucker. That was the, the chicken plate. Okay, uh, Judd, I don't know what that is. Hey, they sell chicken. Chicken food. You found it. That's where you marked with the lucky plucker. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't see. I'm confused still. I'm just being honest. You look like a train. Server restart? I think a... Uh, I think a restart just happened. Okay.